Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In today's video, we will learn how to create a simple and liquid kind of backgrounds just by using gradients inside of After Effects and also you don't need any kind of third party plugins to achieve this kind of animation. So now, let's take a look on the preview. As you saw, the entire animation looks pretty smooth, clean and minimal and if you are thinking that the concept behind creating this animation would be way too complex, then trust me it is not and you will see in a moment. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and jump into the After Effects. So here we are in After Effects and as always we'll start by creating a new composition and we will call it as our main render comp and let's keep the dimension as 1920 by 1080 which is full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color as complete black. Now hit OK. Now just right click anywhere in this area in order to create a new solid. So go to the new and click on solid and let's rename this to BG and now then go to the effects and presets tab and if you don't see this tab over here you can go to the window and make sure the effects and presets is checked right now let's search in for effect which is four color gradient and just drag it onto the layer and for the colors i have a hex code for the first color which is f f zero zero five zero hit enter now for the second color i have another code which is one eight zero one one a and pick up the uh, second color like this and the third color will be changed automatically then for the fourth color i have another code which is 00ffd8 hit enter and before we proceed further with this animation let me tell you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial the entire project file is available to download from the link in the description so go ahead and check it out now let's move on with our animation we will now add an adjustment layer which will hold all of our effects to get the desired output right so let's quickly add it so right click go to the new and click on adjustment layer and we will call it as effect because it will hold all of our effects hit enter now let's search in for effect which is called turbulent displays and drag the effect onto the top of the layer now set the displacement type to vertical displacement amount to 300 size to 125 and complexity all the way to 10 and hold alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch of evolution and write a simple expression which is called time times 60 and just click outside of this input text to uh, make the changes right now it will automatically keep on moving like this as you can see right moving on as you see the moment we are done applying the turbulent displays effect on our layer the entire animation gets a little messy and weird because of these dark and black spots in our animation which we will of course fix it very quickly so what we can do is we can go to the effects and presets search in for effect which is called motion tile and then just drag it onto the top of the layer and set the output width to 200 and the height to 500 and check the mirror edges and currently you cannot see the changes because you need to place the motion tile onto the top of the turbulent displays right and there we go the we have fixed all of our black spots forever it is just that simple right now let's move on with our third effect which is called tour just double click to apply that effect and let's turn it off for a while 
and now search for a new effect which is called CC smear double click to apply that effect and increase the radius all the way to 1000 then drag the point at this corner like so and then this one somewhere at the center like this now just hit ctrl plus t to duplicate and you will get the cc smear 2 and then for cc smear 2 we will drag the point somewhere here and this one right here okay and now it is the time to put our fluids in motion so what we can do is make sure to stay at the very beginning of your timeline and then drop a keyframe at from and to for both the smears and hit you on your keyboard to see all the keyframes that you have just dropped and then go to around seven seconds or so then select the second smear and drag the points or move the point just a little like this and this one also and again select the second smear and drag this point here and then this one right here and also I want to just yeah I want to place like this yeah there you go and now if we see the preview It is taking a little time because the graphics is not very powerful in my system so it is taking just a little time yeah there you go now let's turn on our twirl effect and keep the twirl radius to around 100 and we can tweak the settings of the twirl and create your own desired effect right so it is looking pretty awesome and you can also you know animate the rotation using the tour angle right so now let's finally add a text to our composition so first of all we will close everything up and then select the text tool and let's type in anything you want so I'm typing back grounds and now go to the character tab and if you don't see this tab right here you can always go to the window and make sure the character is checked and also the align tab which we will be using in a moment right now open the character tab and I want to increase the kerning to around 400 and by the way I'm using this Gotham Ultra font which is freely available to download from the link in the description right now align this into the center of our composition and we can also place this anchor point into the center of our text so what you can do is hold control on our keyboard and double click on this pan behind tool and it will snap into the center right now click on the arrow go to the animate and we will add an opacity because we are going to animate our text right so decrease the opacity all the way to zero first of all and then open the range selector drop a keyframe on the offset and go to around three seconds three seconds and increase the offset again back to 100 now go to the advanced section click on randomize order on and hit u to see the keyframe that we have dropped select both of them hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them go to the graph editor and if your graph editor doesn't look like this make sure you're working with edit speed graph not in edit value graph right now select the uh, right handle and drag it by holding shift all the way to the left and now we will get a very snappy animation and here we are with our complete animation and the whole animation has been created by using only just three layers so yeah this marks the end of the tutorial and if you really enjoyed learning this animation then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any creative upcoming tutorial and if you love reading articles, then please do check out my blog thinkingtales.com and also follow me as Motion Street on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep dreaming, keep creating. Peace out.